Another perfect Tuesday in Costa Rica, in Guanacaste, Costa Rica, at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. Rhythmia Life Advancement Center is a, a super unique uh, life transformation center focused on something called a soul retrieval or a soul merger. Uh, <clears throat> to date, we've had over 12,000 guests, 97.61% of them, that's 976 out of every thousand say that this was, uh, that they got a miracle this week. Uh -huh. So uh, 97.61, so 976 out of a thousand say they got a miracle. At six months, 91.68, which is 916 out of every thousand say this was the week that changed their life. Life-changing weeks are happening here. It's a, and every week, it's amazing to watch. Uh, last week was a Taita Juanito, a Taita Juanito week. Uh, by the way, in 2023, Taita will be here half the year, uh -huh. two weeks a month. Make sure you book early for this. Make sure you book early. Last week, uh, we had a huge week, and Cesar Milan was here, and he loves Rhythmia, and he loves the process and, and just is uh, amazed at the work that we do. This is... Uh, let's go six, uh-huh, uh, and, and what, what we do uh, with the let's go is I, I was, are you sure it's let's go six or it's something else? I don't think so. Is it? Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, let's go? Okay, good. All right, we'll make sure. Uh, but what we're doing in this series of 10 is that we're, we're using data that exists through surveys, uh, through research, and through studies uh -huh, on, on, um, on success. And then we're applying those principles or talking about what those principles are based on the idea that this has all been figured out. It's up to you whether you want to believe the studies or not, but they've already been done. The research is over. Uh -huh. Now, it's up to you to participate and use those findings. That's up to you. But um, in this uh, little Facebook Live, I try to, to show you what those findings are and then to go over them again and again and again so they get drilled in. The first thing I want to talk about is the 1979 Harvard study. This will be the sixth time that I talked about it. What was it? A thousand people surveyed. In 1979, 83 had no specific goals. 14% had specific goals, but didn't write them down. 3% actually had specific goals and wrote them down. 10 years later, the same thousand people surveyed. The 14% with specific goals that were not written down averaged 300% more earnings than the 83%. 300% more just by having a specific goal. Uh huh. And the ones that wrote it down, the three percent, were earning a thousand percent more than the rest. You don't need anything else. Just get a pen and paper and write them down. Write them down. Now, the next study, which was the Northwestern University Kellogg School of Management study, said uh, failure is the key to success. Failure is the key to success. Uh huh. So fail, like I'd say, fail early and often, right? Uh-huh. Now, studies on the unsuccessful. We learned this too. What are, what are the traits of the unsuccessful? Negativity, number one. Blame, number two. Gossip, number three. Uh-huh. Fear of failure or worry, number four. Inability to delay gratification, wanting everything up front, number five. And lack of written goals, number six. Uh -huh. uh, now, the week before last, I talked about, about the, the false concept of multitasking because there was a whole study on it. And, and the short answer is multitasking leads to d diminished results. Multitasking leads to diminished results. The story that you were sold about being able to do this and switch to that and switch to this and switch to that and switch to that is a lie. Uh-huh. What, what it is, is focus and detail, focus and detail, focus and detail. The opposite of multitasking. Uh -huh. 
like the the saying says the the man who chases two rabbits catches none you can't you can't you can't do that you have to be focused right so the whole idea of multitasking is is wrong a balanced life the other thing that we found out about uh studies on a balanced life is 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 not where you find hyper success like uh einstein did not have a balanced life michael jordan did not have a balanced life tiger woods did not have a balanced life elon musk does not lead a balanced life. Steve Jobs did not lead a balanced life. Mother Teresa did not leave a balanced life. Boom. Uh huh. What you can do is, and what you should do, is narrow it down to the four things that mean the most to you. Uh huh. Okay. And that that you can do. You can focus on your family and focus on your business and focus on one of two things. You you have the ability to do that. What what you don't want to wind up doing is focusing on sixty different things because it's just impossible that there we live in this reality of 24 hour days right and we have to optimize that by focusing on 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 uh, a, a limited number of things to get the, the most optimum results right on quitting and on failing we talked about we talked about failing one of the worst things you can do is have an early success <clears throat> and i want to tell you why because it teaches you nothing. And early success teaches you nothing. Failures are what teach you. Uh-huh. So, so having, you know what they call one hit wonders, right? People that have this, uh, they write a song or they, they make a song that goes through the roof and then they're never heard from again because that one hit came early. Most of the musical success, success stories are 10 years plus in the making. Uh -huh. And 10 years is a very common number in all success-related endeavors, 10 years. And it has to do with, I think, the 5,000-hour rule, I believe. Uh -huh. More on quitting. Uh -huh. The mechanics and importance of failure in all things. F failure is not failure until you conclude that it's a failure. Uh -huh. A failure, uh -huh. a reassessment and a restart, that was not a failure. That was a guidepost, right? So, so stay in tune with that and, and make sure that you can. So uh, today's talk, I saw this survey on this word that I haven't heard in a long time, grit. And I love the word. I love the word grit. And what the survey was saying, that, that grit is this, is this uh, combination of, 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 persistence uh -huh, and 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 not quitting just this this thing of persistence grinding in and not quitting persistence grinding in and not quitting so i i loved this thing this is this in this survey it said the <laughs> the worst things we're going to want to hear uh the number one ingredient for success hard work the number two grit so working hard and being consistent and not giving up. I know that it's not happy news, but it's the truth, right? Um, there are guys who are getting rich saying that there's some other way. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to be persistent. You don't have to be consistent. Uh -huh. And they, people love hearing that story, but it's not true. Uh -huh. The truth is you have to work hard. You have to have grit. How much grit? I'm going to tell you. It's going to be hard no matter what you do. It's going to be super hard to win. It's going to be super hard to fail. It, life is hard. Death is hard. Uh huh. Everything has this, this, this tonation of being hard. If it's being done right, uh -huh. if, you're, if you're giving it your all. Uh -huh. Now, here's the part that gets tricky. Why do some people stick and continue and persist and have grit and why do other people walk away and my belief in this and this is the belief of all beliefs is that it comes down to where they picked that from uh -huh. so so what i mean by that is this if you picked your vocation because your neighbor you wanted to show up your neighbor you're not going to have grit at some point Something is going to happen in this endeavor uh -huh, 
that is bigger than your determination and you're going to quit. But conversely, if you pick that from you, and when I say from you, I mean the merged part of you, uh huh, the merged part of you, you pick this endeavor of becoming a great guitarist or becoming a great painter or becoming uh, a great business person in this particular business. Uh, when you pick that from a place and you look at that and the thing that you're doing is going to be a beneficial presence on the planet and you pick it from the merge place and you commit. So, so, so the art of this, see, the art of grit seems to be uh, found in the picking and in the committing. When I commit to myself that I'm going to make myself a promise and that promise I'm not going to break, uh -huh, now all of a sudden you have a hardcore commitment. Uh -huh. and, and a lot of people can't commit if they picked it from the wrong place. So here's where time gets tricky. Uh -huh. Time is coming and going no matter what you do. You cannot stop it. Next Wednesday is coming. 2023 is coming, 2025 is coming. And by virtue of your being alive and hearing this say, the likelihood of you staying alive is extremely high, extremely high. So these times are ticking off and coming. It is time to re-examine what we're doing. And this is what, what I believe the term awareness is, that I am aware and cognizant of my direction, of my actions, of my intentions, because if you are, and the easiest way to have that is to have them written down. If you're aware of what you're doing, you have a map, you can stay on course. It's very easy to come off course if you don't have a map. That's why, that's why the people who write it down and are specific about it earn a thousand times more in 10 years. Uh huh. So I'm going to tell you, this is all stuff that's out there for you to find. If you're going to waste time fantasizing that there's some easy way that you can do without commitment, that you can do without drive, that you can do without grit, you're lying to yourself. Uh, there was a, a, a great song by Van Halen called Right Now, and it said, working so hard to make it easy. Uh huh. So in other words, some people look high and low they work harder looking for an easy way to do things than they ever could by picking the, the thing and working hard. Uh huh. In other words, I, I knew guys that were looking for a short, guys and women who were looking for a shortcut to making money and they spend all their time looking for shortcuts. Uh huh. And the shortcuts never were there. And the ones that were there weren't real. Uh huh. So what we got to do is we got to back down into the simplest thing. What do I want? Did I pick this from a merge place in me? Okay, I did. Now I will commit that nothing is going to stop me, that I'm going to get up and do it every day, that, that I'm not going to take a day off, that I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to focus my time, my time, energy, and attention on this thing, irrespective of how many times I get slapped down. And you will. I don't care who you are. Uh -huh. uh, if you're Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Steve Jobs, I don't care who they were. There were a thousand times that they were slapped into where a smarter person would have quit, but they did not quit. You see, they didn't quit because they picked those things. They saw some vision or got into the idea sphere and saw something and, and picked it from a place of, of this, I'm going to get this no matter what, regardless of what the what happens in the world. If you do it that way, you will win. I'm telling you right now, the odds are it flipped from against you to with you. If you make this commitment that I am not going to quit, I'm going to be both feet in. I am going to give this my all, even when my mind changes, because in this pursuit of this thing, there will be other more flashy things around you. There will be. There will be things that look easier. There will be things that that you would say to yourself, oh, I should have done that. Uh-huh. Don't. So this is what I'm saying. Don't chase shiny, easy, da-da-da. Stay the course. Stick to it. 
stick to it, stick to it, stick to it. That is the, that is what I found out from looking at, at these studies uh, for this thing is that this ability to have grit. And what I, what I, what I feel about when I say the word grit is a tenacity, uh, a persistence, a consistency, uh huh. That is grit in the face of all things. In the face of all things, nobody has ever opened a business that I'm aware of, and everything went perfect and as planned from day one till the final day. I have I don't know of anyone. It may exist. I'm not aware of it. The the businesses, the millions of businesses that I am aware of, uh huh, were hard. They should have been shut down 50 times if the owners or CEOs had any sense, but they persisted and persisted and persisted and won. Uh, if you take a look at great basketball players or great musicians or great artists, nobody is ever born uh, painting like a Picasso. That's not how it works. It's, it's, it's hard work, grit, determination, stick to itness. That is what wins the day. Now, knowing that all outcomes are hard. So in other words, sitting on the couch and, and being terribly out of shape is a hard outcome. It's not a happy outcome. As is going to the gym and working out, it's a hard outcome. Pick your hard. I myself, for myself and for Arrhythmia, I wanna pick the hard that services the most people, that that is uh, the highest vibrating outcome. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to pick. And those are always hard. Uh -huh. But not doing those, so listen, investing money is hard. Not investing money is hard. The outcome of this is a hard one. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to tell you is do the hard thing now. They're all, all outcomes are hard. Even, even listen, People think that money is going to solve their problems. You're crazy. Uh, I never spent more sleepless nights than I did when I was in the equities markets and I had a, a, a ton of money in them. Sleepless nights, uh, worrying about stocks going up and down and cr crazy things, right? So there is no easy thing, but there are higher, rewarding, more fulfilling things. Uh huh. Some, in other words, Getting up every day and going to the gym and saying your prayers and da 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 is hard. Uh huh. It is, but the outcome is is fulfilling. Uh huh. Sitting on the couch every day is hard because while you're doing it, you're 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 mad at yourself. It's hard. Uh huh. But the outcome is worse. So all of it's hard. Uh huh. Pick your hard. Pick your hard. All right, great. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I, this was a, a rough one in, in the thing, as you know, because it's just so easy to skip the hard work and the fortitude and the tenacity and the persistence and the consistency because they're not buzzwords today. Uh -huh. They're not easy. It's not being in flow, da, 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 da. But this is the real of the real. This is the real thing. Uh -huh. So get it. Have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed week, and we will talk to you next week.